any floating object displaces its own weight of fluid. Again, we can apply this to the brick. To make the brick float, it needs to displace its own weight of fluid. And there are two ways to do that. You can either make the brick lighter, but keep it the same volume, maybe by hollowing it out, or you can keep the brick the same weight and make it displace more water. This is the same as tying a balloon to it, if we assume the balloon doesn't weigh anything. And ships use these exact same principles. They just need to displace enough water that it counters their own weight. Take this ship as an example. Its rough dimensions are 300 meters in length, 40 meter beam, and 15 meters draft. If it was a perfect block, it would have a volume of 180,000 cubic meters. As this is just an example, let's say it's floating in fresh water. It's displaced 180,000 tons of water. Because of Archimedes, we know that it's floating because the ship itself, plus the weight of all the cargo, equals 180,000 tons. It is the volume of water displaced by the hull that is allowing it to float.